Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Watch Mojo's top 10 Call of Duty Zombies weapons. Uh, now, what it's been saying is that it's going to be based on the first appearance. And we're going to be also doing in this video that we're going to get a break then. And I'm going to get my opinion on what, they, on what they're trying to say. And I'm going to try to also summarize and try to break down what it's going to say. So, let's get this shit over with. Now, before I start playing Watch Mojo's video on the top 10 Call of Duty Zombies weapons, I just wanted to tell you guys, do not hate on Watch Mojo for this. This is going to be some sort of criticism on, on their video, and I'm going to get scared. I'm going to be talking to it, and it's going to get a breakdown also. I'm just going to try to try to point out the, pointing out the this event, the mishaps and stuff on Watch Mojo's top 10 Call of Duty Zombies weapons. When the dead rise, there's a need for fancy gadgets and gizmos to return them to their place. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Call of Duty Zombies weapons. For this list, we're delving into the various incarnations of the Call of Duty franchise's beloved Zombies mode, searching for those weapons best suited for decimating zombie after zombie. For organizational purposes, we'll be listing these guns off by the game they first appeared in, though as you'll see, many of them are featured in multiple games. Now what they're saying on this, um, this top 10 Call of Duty Zombies video, they're saying is that they're gonna be make, they're gonna, this, this top 10 is gonna be based off its, well, off its first appearance and based off its, and, and it's best for, de for killing zombie after zombie. Number 10, Shrink Ray, Call of Duty Black Ops. Officially designated as the 3971 JGB215, the Shrink Ray boasts a simple but effective solution to dealing with the zombie horde. Although it cannot kill enemies on its own, the Ray does shrink zombies down to adorably small baby-like forms, which can then be trampled on and killed in one hit. Add to that its semi-automatic rate of fire and its ability to affect special zombies. And what you're left with is an admirable means of crowd control. Number 9. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First of all, why did you put the Shrink Ray, aka the... I don't want to say this long name, but I'm pretty sure the people will can. But... But why would you put this in the number 10 spot? Because... First of all, the Shrink Ray is one of the one of the best weapons to have on hot high rounds as, 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 until out until round 100. It's a pretty good use. It's a pretty good wonder weapon. And why would you do that? Even though I haven't played Shangri La yet, I've seen a bunch of gameplay of it and a lot of good, a lot of good gameplay, a lot of ga good gameplay usage of the. Of the shrink ray. I mean, come on, come on. Re really, watch murder? Come on. Why did you put it seriously number 10? Sliquifier. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Silly, zombie humiliating devastation, some assembly required. Introduced in the D-Rise map in Black Ops 2, this wonder weapon is initially split into four pieces that are scattered about. Yet, the effort of reuniting its parts is rewarded by the gun's means of attack. It shoots a purple liquid that sends zombies comically slipping and sliding. Even better, this liquid can cause zombies to instantly explode if you hit them directly. Now that's a selling point. Number 8. First of all, why would you put the number 9 spot to be the, the circle fire? Come on. Okay, okay. Pre-patch Slicker Fire was one of the best wonder weapons. Kill an entire wave of zombies within one round. Just an entire wave within one round. But after the patch, it's still a great gun. Yeah, but it's still one of the greatest wonder weapons to have in 
all of, out of Call of Duty Zombies history. I mean, also, D Rise, let's. <laughs> The G Rise map in Black Ops 2. This now on to the new spot, which is the wave gun. I guess the wave gun was probably an okay weapon. It was a pretty good weapon, but I I would have to disagree to some spot. But it was still one of the greatest greater one weapons. If I had to put it in the top five, it would have been maybe by. I guess number three, number four, number or I guess it'd be the honorable mention if, as of Black Ops 3. Considering how they didn't they didn't add anything at, from Black Ops 3, uh, uh, excluding the ray gun. Before we get into the some spot, we got <laughs> okay, okay. Look at look at this picture right here. It says it says the YouTuber. If you go on the bottom corner, and it says YouTube channel, and it says the relaxing. Now you might think it's the relaxing end. Instead of saying the relaxing end, it says the relaxing en. Now I'm not trying to hate the relaxing end here, but he's a great YouTuber. Don't worry, no hate, no none of that stuff. But why would you put the relaxing yen? At least I'm at least try to spell their name correctly. I mean, make sure double check on your video before you start rendering it and uploading it to YouTube here. Okay, watch Mojo. Okay. Paralyzer, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Those who frequent the mystery box in Buried may find themselves equipped with this nifty device. As the name implies, the Paralyzer slows zombies down to a crawl before disintegrating them in impressive fashion. Its infinite ammo supply is handily balanced by a heat meter that demands careful use of the weapon without taking away from its overall usefulness. Furthermore, if aimed at the ground, it can propel a player upwards in a manner not unlike the rocket jump of Quake fame. How can you go wrong with that? Number seven, so the number seven spot, which number was six. the Paralyzer. I guess the Paralyzer was an okay weapon, but it's not one of my favorite weapons. I have to disagree with the seven spot. Disagree with the seven spot. And the only problem is that is the cooling down of it, and that and that it, it only slows them down, which it also takes a lot of ammo to kill them with the Paralyzer. It and pre patch of it, it was pretty okay. But it's not one of my favorite. So we're gonna go to the number six spot. Blundergat, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Supposedly inspired by weaponry dating back to the American Civil War, the Blundergat is as intriguing as it is valuable. Besides being the only wonder weapon to fire normal bullets, this shotgun also has the distinction of firing its pellets in a completely horizontal spread. In unison with its high damage potential, this can make clearing zombies equal parts efficient and cathartic. On top of that, the Blunder Gat can be upgraded with the Acid Gat to fire sticky explosives. Well, that took down a few. Players are well served by this gun, plain and simple. Away from that? Number 5, Monkey Bomb, Call of Duty World at War. <laughs> So unassuming, yet so devastating. The monkey bomb, designed to look like a monkey playing a cymbal, is very much a purposeful means of deception. When thrown by a player, it draws zombies in with its chattering sounds prior to exploding, wiping out anything assembled before it. Its basic utility and creepy yet intriguing visual design have endured since its first appearance in World at War, and it remains a key part of many players' survival efforts. <laughs> Number four. Well, number six and number five, I have to completely disagree about this. If I had to compare the the acid gat and the monkey bomb, I would I, obviously the acid gat would win mainly because of it. I guess it would be a def both of these would be like a, more like a defensive equipment on zombies. But then why would the monkey bomb would be uh, would be higher than this because if it if you compare it statistically statistically one d it is one of the weakest 
weakest wonder weapons. Uh, one of the weaker wonder weapons. Not the weakest, but weaker. One of the weak wonder weapons in the, in the Call of Duty Sega zombies in general. To be specific. So, we're going to the number four spot. So, let's get on number four, shall we? Origin Staffs, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. <laughs> well worth the price of admission. Four of a kind, how nice. Offered as buildable weapons on the Origins map, these staves let players unleash havoc using four different elements. Ice, fire, wind, and lightning. From firing molten rock to blasting zombies with lightning bolts, each Origin staff consistently delivers on devastating and engaging carnage. Plus, they each have unique attributes that make them valuable on their own terms. The Staff of Winds can knock back zombies, the Ice Staff limits zombies' movements, and so forth. Number three, Vundava. From what you saw from the number four spot, which, which I, which I have a, well, only one, the only problem I have with the number four spot, which was that that they used modded gameplay, which, which didn't, which, which Much Mojo didn't personally didn't want to research bother, bother to even put more into research where if it's actually factually correct or not actually actually correct or not that the origin stabs are that they showed the gameplay of it and that and for and then the last minute of the fourth spot that they showed the actual gameplay of the origin staff personally i agree with it but then the gameplay the, ga the usage of gameplay is the problem with the fourth spot so let's get on to the number three spot which is going to have to be the wonder walk of dg2 the wonder walk dg2 May it's Fafa DG2, Call of Duty, World at War. <laughs> Among the most powerful of weapons in zombies mode, the DG2 is refreshingly straightforward in its power set. It fires bolts of electricity that instantly destroy the targeted zombie thanks to infinite damage, before chaining to up to nine nearby zombies and killing them too. But this simplicity and elegance of purpose is part of its appeal, closely matched by its ability to eliminate hellhounds and its automatic fire mode. Nice to see the great torturer, torturer. Plus, it's fairly balanced by a limited magazine and a moderate reload time, ensuring that you can't use it with reckless abandon. Don't with the Marine. Number two. The number three spot on Watch Mojo's list, which is the Wonder Waff. I get. I guess the Wonder Waff was it. Was a decent weapon, but the only problem with it is that with the limited amount of kids, obviously it kills. But but back in when the giant came out, it back when the giant came out on Black Ops Three, it it took a, like maybe like one to, like two shots to kill zombies, but even with double tap on a little bit of higher rounds. But I'm not sure as of the Wonder Waff right now because I haven't used it in the giant for like a long time. So and and also the uh, the uh, another problem. Another problem with the with the Wonder Waff is that is that when you shoot it, you accidentally splash damage with you you splash damage on the Wonder Waff. Is that is that when you shoot it, it takes it permanently it takes away your, your Juggernaut permanently. Is that if multiplayer? It wouldn't be much of a problem because you can get your perks back if you were able to get hit, revived by someone else. But if it's by yourself, you're pretty much done for. You're dead. Game over. So let's go to the number two spot, which is the Thunder Gun. So let's get right into it. Thunder Gun, Call of Duty, Black Ops. It's big, it's bold, and when used correctly, it can be brutal. This cannon-like device appears in three of the zombies maps for Black Ops, remaining consistent in its status as a defensive weapon. Zombies, one Dempsey. Fired from the hip, the Thunder Gun can obliterate zombies at one shot at close range, with enemies further away being knocked back. It's remarkably effective for those looking to clear space, particularly in the later rounds when the zombie horde appears virtually unstoppable. You're no mess with Lo Wang. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions.
Number one, Ray Gun. So after looking at the honorable mentions for that, I first thing I saw was the Hauser. The first thing we saw was the Hauser DMA, which what why I don't know. The Hell's Re the Hell's Re not Redeemer, sorry, the Hell's Retriever. We saw the Hell's Retriever on the top, on the top, on the honorable mention spot, which I, which I have to disagree that the, that it has to be in there. The Hell's Redeemer is, is like, a, like a lot, a little bit more better than the, than the Hell, the Hell's Redeemer is a bit more, a little bit better than the Hell's Retriever, Retriever after, after when you upgrade the Hell's Retriever. The Gersh device, um, I guess it's pretty cool. I guess, is, which is the Gersh device is probably one of my favorite. Was probably one of my favorites because it can make. It was like the the Apophagan servant like gadget thing from the set. It was like that for those of you who are like Black Ops Three players. Black Ops Three. Um, these new zombies are playing it, and that the number. That that the winter's house. It was a crappy weapon, even at round three. It was just a crappy weapon. All it does is just slows down, but it takes a couple of shots to kill them. So it kind of it's it's a terrible wonder weapon to have. I I used to like it, but then when I when I saw it for myself, it was it got me pretty much down. On it, so it was a pretty crappy weapon. The winter's house. It wasn't my favorite wonder weapon. I have to admit, the. The scavenger, I guess, is pretty cool, but it's also one of my uh, one of my one of my favorite wonder weapons, mainly because it's a sniper. It's like a crossbow. It's like a mix of a sniper and a crossbow, with combined to a wonder weapon, which is pretty cool. Too bad we didn't get to see it on the other. Too bad we didn't, didn't get to see it on the other zombie maps other than Call of the Dead. So, eh, I guess. So let's go to number one spot, which is the ray gun. Oh. I have a lot to say about this. Call of Duty World at War. When one thinks of zombie mode, specifically surviving long term in that mode, it's hard not to think of this. Allow me to end your torment. The ray gun is first and foremost a magnificent tool for eliminating the undead, thanks to its one shot kills, awe inspiring accuracy, and splash damage effect for good measure. More than that though, it's got a memorable look that harkens back to retro pulp science fiction, which feels quite fitting in this context. Given that it eventually inspired the creation of the Ray Gun Mark II in later games, we feel safe to say that this is quite the enduring weapon. 40 number one spot, which was the Ray Gun, I have to disagree on the number one spot on, on, on the top 10 list. Which, out of all the weapons, statistically, it is one of the weakest wonder weapons to have during the high round. Which, it's okay. The only problem is the splash damage, which, which I guess, um, on the top 10 spot. On um, Black Ops 1, which we had, well, what the war, we didn't have the, the, um, the, which, the first one is called PHE Flopper, where if you had it, you, sh you shoot it, you won't get any splash damage. You shoot yourself with the ray gun or any like explosive weapon. You did. You wouldn't have any like splash damage to where it would get you down or get you killed in zombies. Another thing, uh, Black Ops One, which was okay, but it was not Black Ops One, which was a, it was okay. It was pretty decent on it. Black Ops Two, it was also a meh. Also, Black Ops Three, it wasn't really a weapon to have during the high rounds. I would much have, rather have the Draken more uh, rather than the Ray Gun because the Draken is probably one of the greater we wonder weapons to have also during the high round. It's a one shot kill up to, uh, from what I've heard from two Puffy Games or, or two Puffy Games, um, is that it, it's, they since they patch the Draken to, uh, to where you can have that. until round 35, which kind of sucks, but it's still one of the greater wonder weapons. To have during the high round on zombies. My final thoughts on the top 10 Call of Duty Zombies weapons made by Watchmatcher is that this list wasn't really researched enough. The reason is that they didn't, they only added the ray gun, which also appeared pretty much any ever game, any game, any Call of Duty Zombies game on Black Ops. And they didn't really add anything else other than the 
the Wonder Wolf and the Ray Gun. Also, is that also is from Black Ops 3. They didn't really add anything else like the Ryzen Drock bows or the or the Popkin Servant or the um the, the gravity spikes or even heck even heck the apothecan swords well i have to say that i have to disagree with this list on this list on the top 10 call of duty the entire list of the top 10 call of duty zombies list but made by watch mojo i hope watch mojo i hope you don't see this as hate but more of a criticism and also watch mojo fans don't quit don't Start clicking dislike. You should. I hope. I hope you listen very carefully in this entire the beginning video and the entire video also. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video. Make sure to leave a like on this video. Drop a comment. What do you want to see next? And subscribe for the content. I might bring you. Goodbye.